Hi, Brandon Sardis from President of Champion Strategies with our ongoing series dealing with public speaking. I'm going to speak today on ways to remember material. Remembering speeches can be a very intimidating experience. There are many ways one can remember material, and I would like to focus on just a few. There's memorizing, there's reading from complex texts, there's using notes, and using visual aids and notes. So let's look at each one of these in detail. If you're memorizing your speech, in my opinion, this is the absolutely worst way to track your material. People are preoccupied with remembering the words that you're saying and not the ideas behind the words. As a result, normal voice inflection disappears. With memorizing, a mental block becomes inevitable. With memorizing, it is a matter of will you forget, not when you forget. Another thing, reading from a complete text if you listen to someone read a speech or do a presentation, it is halted by many people at different points. Because if all they were going to do was read a speech, I could have read it myself. And in many situations, an experience like this is the least one you ever want to near because things will happen, like the speaker losing the amount of voice inflection to be heard to the crowd because his face is down or her purse is down. The text isn't spoken language. Too often speakers with their speeches in business language that is often heard. The speech isn't stagnant. The potted plant will be probably better. This is a little more movement, a little more energy, a little more interest. So in other words, get away from the lecture. Then there's eye contact, trying to cover the room, no matter where it's left, right, center, deep, people on top of you. We need to make sure that our eye movement is making the audience feel comfortable. And speakers can be scared. Many speakers read because they're afraid to try anything else. This is a bad experience because you're looking down and not looking at the audience. Now, don't get me wrong, there are many times when speeches must be read, many times if necessary to read because there's something special about the event, whether you're doing a christening, whether you're doing a burial, these are just some suggestions. So. We'll continue on with this uh, in the next video, but remembering the material and how it's perceived by the audience, that's what should be on your mind. Once again, Brandon Hardison, President of Champion Strategies, with our public speaking ongoing series on the workshop. We heard you got something out of it today. We'll give it to you on the next one. In the meantime, you go out and